<clears throat> so it's about that time where I started thinking about re-enlistment. About the time of my contract and my army career, where I have to sit down and debate, do I want to get out of the army? Do I want to stay in the army? Or do I, or do I want to reclass? The time has come. The time has come to make a decision. The time has come to finally make the ultimate decision. And I decided that I would like to get into this video for real. Because there's some, there's some good stuff in this video. I ain't gonna lie. So for y'all who are in, a, in the military, and for those who are not in the military, I am in the military. But if you just watching this for information purposes only, like, you know what I'm saying? This is always good information to take from somebody else who's going through this stuff. So you guys can watch it and actually see for you guys yourself to see how things operate. So me, I've been in the military for a decent little minute now, over over two years. I'm a 92 Fox Petroleum Supply Specialist. I have a video on that on my channel. Go check it out if you haven't already watched it. The time has come to actually reclass my MOS. I already took my GT test. I, I could get any job in the military if I wanted to. It's not like I, I have all options available for me. I could reclass to any job I want to. But my time has come to sit down and actually think about what jobs I want to reclass to, what jobs will be most suitable for me in my army career. And not even just my army career for like, say I went got the army and work in the civilian sector. Like what jobs will be best beneficial for me to get into when I get out the army? Right now, I'm stuck in between 42 Alpha, which is human resources, or IT, information, te information technology. And I don't really know. Or CID, I'm not sure yet, but I get stuck in between these two because I want a job that's going to get me in a position where I'm not doing as much stuff outside like how I was doing before or how I am currently still doing. I don't like working outside. I want to be under AC. I want to be able to actually do my job and I want to be able to transition into the civilian world with ease with the MOS that I choose. So it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know. I'm just debating between these three. But when it comes to y'all being in the military, trying to figure out what y'all want to go into, what you're trying to get into, especially for those who are not in the military yet, who want to want to just kind of get an understanding of what MOSs are, and this is a good video for you guys to watch because it's just, it's so many different jobs in the Army. It's so many different jobs. It's over 100 career fields to choose from. If not, it's close to somewhere around 100 career fields. So it's like so many jobs you can, you can get into. It's, about, it's more like finding what is best for you your lifestyle, what, what is something that you have, that you have genuine interest in? Me, I, I kind of, like I said multiple times before in my videos, I, I joined the army off the strength of just, I ain't really had nothing else going on for me for real. And it was really just the, the best thing that came up. So this was, the Nights of Fox was the best thing that came up. Now, I made do of my situation and I made the most of it and options opened up for me regardless. If you guys haven't watched the GT score video, watch that video because that video kind of just explains what my score was and I kind of broke down everything in that video. So I'm in a position where I can choose any job. And like I said before, I have these options, but when I think about long-term, I think about longevity, I, I, I think about what job would be the most beneficial for not only transitioning into the civilian sector, but which job would give me the most leverage. You know what I'm saying? I, I look for leverage. So I'm taking the leverage that I have now in the military, I'm using it, I'm, I'm using the leverage and I'm using it for my, my benefit. And I enjoy what I do. I enjoy, I, right, currently, I ain't gonna lie. The, the army, it's all about how your mindset is. And I currently, I'm, I'm in a good place right now in the military. It's, the opportunities are, are, are what you make it. And I've learned that firsthand because of all the things that I've been through. But now it's just, I have to really hone in on figuring out what jobs I wanna do and, and which one would give me the most leverage if I was to decide to get out and decide to, to actually move on with my life instead of just being in the military. So I have to sit down and the time has come to actually start thinking about what jobs I want to reclass to. If you guys want me to make a series out of this, I can do that. Just going through my whole process of just figuring out what jobs I will actually want to get into. Like I said, right now, I'm thinking about 42 Alpha, human resources, or IT, information technology, or CID, which is like criminal investigation. Or, no, nah, I don't want to stay in this 925 stuff. I was going to say maybe I could stay in this job, but no, nah, I ain't going to stay in this job. The only way I stay in this job is if I was to get out and work in like an airline or something like that and just work, work with petroleum products. But that's the only way I do this job outside. But, and in the meantime, there's probably some more jobs that I haven't even seen yet that, that could be really, really nice and really, really good to get into. So I want you guys who are, if you are in the military, comment some jobs that are some really good jobs that people actually love in the army. Like, cause I actually want to be in a job that I love to be in. And I wouldn't mind doing this job for years and years and years. So if you guys are watching this and you are in the military, comment some jobs that you actually appreciate it. 
comment them down below. If you were in the military and you know some good jobs, comment them down below. If you're a civilian, please let me know some jobs that's just like, that you guys love to do so I can kind of get a, a better gauge of what I can transition to in the civilian world if I was to reclass to a different job and then get that job that you just told me about from on a civilian pr perspective. Because I just want to know jobs that will give me a better, uh, better transitioning into the civilian world. If you guys are new, please subscribe, like, all that stuff. I love every last one of you guys. Comment what you want to see from me in the future and comment what I told all y'all to comment because I'm really I'm really listening because I, I, I really want to know like some jobs. And until next time, Javon Story is out. I love every last one of you guys.